Hello, I am Amit Goswami, a quantum physicist. You know, when I think of quantum physics, I think of a window. Quantum physics to me is like a window which allows me to see that reality is oneness behind all the diversity in which we experience ourselves and the world, there is a transcendent unity. In a book that I wrote by the name of The Visionary Window, what I meant was that quantum physics is this visionary window. You look through it and you see oneness. Whereas if you don't, if you are not aware of quantum physics, you think that the world is diverse, you think that the world is just matter, and all this, all this illusion. You know, it's like that poem that the great poet Wallace Stevens wrote about, the man with the blue guitar. But it's something like this. They said to the man with the blue guitar, you don't play things as they are. Said the man with the blue guitar, Things are changed. Things as they are are changed on my blue guitar. And that's the thing. Reality comes to us through a blue guitar. And so we think in the illusory way and get very oblivious of this unity from which this material world brings forth. But quantum physics brings us back to that reality. What is it in quantum physics that brings us back? This is the thing. From the get-go, quantum physics says one and one thing that is so crucial for a worldview change. Only people who are stubborn, who insist on holding on to their old worldview, for scientists that would be the idea that everything is matter, for religionists that would be the idea that God is a white bearded guy sitting in a throne in heaven. But quantum physics says these two worldviews can be integrated if you look through the visionary window. And the crucial sentence that quantum physics starts with already allows you to see through this visionary window. Objects are possibilities. Quantum physics is the physics of possibility. This one sentence can revolutionize worldview, can revolutionize your life if you want to live by possibilities instead of thinking that the actuality, the world that you experience moment to moment is the final word on the nature of reality. Quantum physics is the physics of possibility. Objects are quantum possibilities. What does that mean? Where do these waves of possibility reside? This is the crucial question. And it's not just a theoretical question. The theoretical question is answered by quantum mathematics. It simply says, this is the way the objects are. It simply says that these objects reside in a domain of potentiality outside of space and time. And then it is for us to experimentally verify that this is so. And we have. We now have directly verified that there are two kinds of movement in the world. One kind of movement is maximum speed limit with the speed of light. That's the kind of movement that is allowed in the domain that we call space and time. That's where matter moves, that's where things look diverse. But the other kind of domain is where the speed of communication is infinite. We call it non-local, that's the domain of potentiality. And if there is instant connection in that domain, then do you see it got to be one? If things are instantly interconnected, that interconnectedness is oneness. That is the oneness that mystics and spiritual teachers talk about. 
that is the oneness. So simply by recognizing that objects are possibilities, we are looking at a oneness. And then it's just a question of language. Question of language. What should we call this oneness? It's very easy to see that we should call it consciousness because what does this oneness do? In that domain, objects are potentialities, right? And potentiality means that we have some knowledge of the object, but only possibilities with probabilities, not concrete knowledge. But when we measure, when we observe, then we don't see these objects of potentiality, we still see objects of actuality. That's when we see particles moving in space and time. And that's when we know exactly what the object is. So isn't the change from potentiality to actuality that measurement precipitates, isn't that change a change in the knowledge about the object? Heisenberg, the co-discoverer of quantum physics, pointed it out many decades ago. We just did not, we just did not hear him properly. And in fact, analysis that I did in the 1980s that shows clearly that indeed this oneness must be called consciousness. So in this way. The visionary window allows us to see the oneness of consciousness behind our diverse individual egos. Why is this important? This is important because this oneness has the power to choose from the diverse waves of possibility, different facets of the waves of possibility, the one facet that the particle represents, the one facet that becomes our experience. Consciousness chooses. We choose, therefore we are. Consciousness chooses. Why is that important? Because it says that the causal power of this consciousness is choice. And we choose. How do we choose is basic to our being. So what is the learning journey that people talk about that we do on this planet? If choice did not exist, then there is no learning journey. This is what materialists think. Their life becomes hedonistic based on pleasures because they don't think there is any choice, there is any freedom to choose. So quantum physics is also freeing you from the straight jacket of thinking that you don't have any choice. In the materialist worldview, you don't. In the religious worldview, you don't either because there God chooses for you. This entity, white bearded guy sitting in heaven, he chooses. And don't call it a she. He is very hierarchical. He is a wrathful God. That's the way religions see it. He only likes the particular religion that you belong to. Other people are not important. They are the chosen. So either your choice is God's choice or you don't have any choice at all. You are between a rock and a hard place. Quantum physics frees you from the straight jackets of thinking. It's you, your choice, except that its choice is from the oneness, not from your ego. This is what you have to recognize. And once you have to recognize, you also have to realize that I have some work to do. And that work is called creativity. What we have discovered, the good news is that creativity is not something that only a select few can have. Quantum physics has also unlocked the mystery of creativity. The same physics that allows us to look through the window and discover oneness also shows us how to 
activate the oneness within us, how to access the oneness within us to access our freedom to choose.